Troops from Indian Army's Southwestern Command rehearsed their elite skills with special aerial insertion operations. SSS Defense is planning to establish a private sniper school in India for the security forces. Bharat Electronics Limited has secured additional orders worth 634 crore rupees, that includes maintenance of Akash missile system, telescopic sites for guns, communication equipment and jammers. India has issued a no-time warning for a range of 800 kilometers in the Bay of Bengal, which is likely the test of Pramo's extended range missile from a frontline destroyer. Indian Navy has commissioned INS-2 Shield Multi-Role Stealth Guided Missile Frigate. The Indian Air Force has developed advanced virtual reality training system to train newly inducted personnel on the critical process of refueling aircraft. LCOM Integrated Systems has been chosen by the Indian Navy to develop the Advanced Flight Control Deck Lighting System for aircraft carriers. The Indian Army has developed an Artificial Intelligence Powered Aircraft Identification System, designed to accurately identify aircraft within a matter of 6 seconds. The Indian Army has developed BAS Unmanned Aerial System, that has a range of 10 kilometers, and has the ability to fire Carl Gustav rockets. Recent revelations about links between the organized crime and corruption reporting project and certain U.S. entities, have reignited discussions about foreign influence on India's defense procurement processes. Journalists affiliated with organized crime and corruption reporting project were central to propagating allegations of corruption in India's 36 Rafil deal, despite it being a transparent government-to-government -government agreement. The OCCRP has connections to U.S. interests, raising concerns about whether the dissemination of such allegations was part of a broader agenda to undermine India's defense procurement autonomy, and it also casts a shadow on the credibility of American companies vying for MRFA deal. India's Netramark Duo Wax program is facing new challenges, as Airbus has proposed a conversion cost for 6X Air India A321, that is nearly twice the initial estimate set by the DRDO and Indian Air Force, significantly inflating the overall program budget. Airbus has indicated that the scope of work involved is far more complex than initially thought, leading to a significant increase in the estimated price. The Indian Army is moving forward with plans to extend the service life of its smirch ammunition in collaboration with private Indian vendors. The Indian Army currently uses four variants of the smirch ammunition, and the life extension will focus on ensuring that the ammunition remains safe and reliable for use in combat, and also extend its life for another 10 to 15 years. The 13-ton Ghatak unmanned combat aerial vehicle will be a key asset in the AMCA Mark II's arsenal, as the collaboration will be at a much more advanced level, with AI-based automation enabling the Ghatak to plan and execute missions independently, without the need for constant control from the mothership. The Ghatak will still have a human in command to monitor its activities, but the role of the human operator will not be to guide the UCAF's every move but rather to oversee and ensure the system performs within set parameters. Today's Top 3 Comments